Hello and welcome YouTube. I'm your host, VLD, slamming back for another video. I have taken a few weeks off for a break because I had surgery and other reasons, but I am back for the whole month of September, starting week two. Every Friday will be a Keyboard Mania, a different keyboard review. They're all kind of a little bit different. Not the same I did before, but still good stuff. Right off the bat, you can pick up this keyboard case, this wireless keyboard off Amazon for about $53. Is it good? Is it bad? Who really knows? Watch this video. Let's get to it. Inside the box, you are given a USB type C to type A cable and it's fairly long. So far, so good, right? I mean, it's fairly good. I've had some delivered to me in the past that have been fairly small. So this is good. Granted, the graphics says micro USB. That might be a toss up. Also inside the box, you are given the instructions. If you have watched my channel in the past, you know how to connect it, just your basic shortcuts, all of the typical stuff you are familiar with. And when you first grab the keyboard, you notice the cutout of it. So if you like to showcase your Apple logo for your iPad, you have that. The build quality of this is equally as good as a Fisher Price toy. Build quality is really subpar. I believe that's strike three right off the bat. When you open this keyboard, there is major flex. Towards the bottom of the keyboard, it bends most just because you put the most pressure on that point to open. I also have the sung one for comparison just because they are both so similar. The snug one has a little bit of flex, but nothing quite like this. I could probably snap this in half if I'm not careful enough. So long term, this might not be a product because it could potentially break and the actual purpose of this will not be there anymore. If you are concerned about the keyboard or trackpad, this is the same thing as the snug, just cheaper, much, much cheaper. The build quality is not really there. Quality control, same thing. They added two new features to it. It took away about five, so not great. This product does not win me over whatsoever. The trackpad is the same thing as the snug. You do have a key. You are able to turn it off, which I would recommend doing that because even with snug and type case, the keyboard is just average. The trackpad is bad. But one thing that the snug does have over the predecessor is it is backlit. This one, they took that away. Quality control, as you can see in the top right corner, I'm not quite too sure what that is. If they put tape over it or if they just made a boo-boo or it's a band-aid. It's honestly a little bit striking. It does have raise awake. I'm surprised that does have. So that is good. The neck mechanism for this is significantly poor. I'm not putting a whole lot of effort into it and I'm able to actually move and rotate the neck. So like I said, quality control. So far there has not been any good redeeming features about this keyboard. Even the cutouts for your volume up and down and your power button just look like they took a rusted knife to cut it out at the end of the production line just to make it fit. Even the bottom half and the top half are not lined up properly. If you look, the left side sags more than the right side. Like I said, you'll be hearing me say this a lot. Quality control, quality control, quality control. It does charge USB type C, so I will give them that. You do have indicator lights. When it's charging, it's on or it needs to be charged, so they did think that far ahead. The trackpad is what you would expect from every mid-range keyboard. They're all fairly, just not great. Navigation, you can do pinch to zoom. You can click and drag. You can do two finger scroll up and down. Pinch to zoom will only work with the browser, not the gallery. So it's not a true native pinch to zoom. Like I've said before, two finger scrolling is really jittery. It stutters a lot, goes too fast. And even with three finger swiping from the home screen, half the time I cannot actually get this to work. Or when it does work, it just works when it wants to. And it's just fairly poor. You do have multitasking gestures with three fingers. You can switch between applications, which that does work just fine. Just actually doing th going from home page to home page with three finger swipe does not really seem to work. Four fingers will give you screenshot. That does work. Typing on this is just average at best. You could take the basic formula, slap their name on it, and they could sell it and it would sell. But they took this, made it cheaper, and it truly shows. I mean, just look at that flex on that keyboard. I'm only putting a little bit of pressure into it and the whole keyboard is flexing majorly bad. I'm not quite too sure about this, like how it's built, but it's not great. And the simple fact that they are trying to sell this off Amazon for $53, like I said, $53, you can get the snug or tape case for the same price, more features, better quality control. It's built better. Grand, the trackpad isn't as good. Get the premium one. I can link that down below and much better. It's only a few dollars more and trust me, that trackpad is worth it. There's a reason why I call this the premium keyboard and it shows. This one does 
does not. From the side of poor quality control, poor build quality, the flexing when you open it, honestly, I might actually snap this maybe a month down the road. The keyboard flexes majorly, majorly bad. The only good thing about this keyboard is the trackpad, and that was the worst feature on the snug or the type case one I have reviewed in the past. Like I said before, spend a few dollars less, get a much better keyboard. Even the Microsoft Surface alternative, I could recommend that. If you like having a tear off keyboard with a kickstand, that is a fantastic product. The snug one is just average. Get the Greenlaw one, that's roughly the same price as this. It has the best experience to date, for my own personal opinion. Or spend a few dollars more and get the premium one, hands down the best one. So I cannot recommend this product to anyone. Just cons outweigh the pros. There are really no pros with this thing. They could have taken the formula of an average keyboard case and made it better. They made it cheaper and they made it worse. So it's just one thing I cannot recommend. So like always, I'm your host, VLD. Smash that bell, subscribe, and stay tuned for all that weird, obscure Apple tech piece.